Hello and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And today I am here to share with you a card created from my Stamp of the Month Club creating, sorry, featuring decorated with happiness. So this is our Stamp of the Month for November 2022. Um, it does have coordinating dies, the decorated die, pines dies here, um, which can be added onto the kit but the card we're going to create today is this one here. So this is a really simple fun fold and it's a really simple Christmas card that can be made. You can make lots of these in a very short period of time. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. If you are a member of my Stamp of the Month Club and you're watching this video to create your card along with me, you've already got your pre-cut kit here. If not, I will try and give you the measurements as we go, but if I do mess up and forget, please check the description and the measurements will be there for you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, well, let's get what we need gathered first. We're gonna need real red and garden green ink pads along with a black. So I'm gonna use my Memento tuxedo black. You could use your stays on if you chose. And then I've got my stamps pre-assembled onto my block. So we're gonna use this one here. This one, the Bows of Jolly Greeting, which we're going to heat emboss, so you're also going to need your heat emboss tools here along with the heat tool. And we're going to use an ornament. I've chosen to use this one. You can, of course, change it out, use whatever one you want. And then it's coordinating um, fill-in, I'm gonna call it, so this one here. All right, so let's get started. I'll set that card off to the side. Here is how the kit comes prepped when you're a member of my club. Now each month there are three cards in the kit, all different, all using the um, featured stamp of the month, which again, this month is decorated with happiness. So all of that information can be found on my blog at createwithbirdsnest.ca or you can of course message me um, and I can send you all of the details. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of real red cardstock. Now this is our card base. It doesn't fold, it's just a single piece of paper. And we're going to layer on a piece of painted Christmas designer paper that measures four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to, this other side here is very pretty as well. You could use either one. I just like how this one has the greens and the different shades of red. Okay, so that's assembled. That is our card base. Then we need a piece of garden green and I'm just going to measure again to make sure. Yeah, so nine and a half by three and a half and I've scored it at four and three quarters which is right in the middle. So that's going to get folded on the score line. Burnish that with your bone folder and that's gonna get attached to the front of the card. So we're gonna have this beautiful border of designer series paper and then our opening part of the card on top. So I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Seal and we'll go ahead. Okay. Now, the other thing we're going to need is a front and a back for our card. So for that, I've got a three, three and a quarter by four and a half piece of basic white for both. So one for the front, one for the inside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these both at the same time. So I'm gonna be using the same stamps. So with the garden green ink, I'm just gonna set all of this aside. So using garden green ink, And our large branch stamp. I love this stamp. It could be used all year round too. It does not just have to be for Christmas. So we're going to take this stamp and this is going to be the front piece. So we're going to just I missed a bit of ink on there. We're going to just stamp that right across the front. Across the top, sorry, on the front. Like that. And then we'll ink it up again. 
and we'll come in from the bottom here. Okay, so that's the front of the card. Now for the inside of my card, I always like to show it a little love um, and decorate it up a little bit. So what we'll do for that one is we'll just come in and we'll just put one of these branches. I wanna leave myself enough room to write a nice heartfelt message for Christmas, but I do like to have a little bit of decoration in there as well. So front and back. Now we're gonna use our garden green ink again, but this time we're going to use the, um, the background to fill in these boughs of pine. So we're gonna use garden green, but we're gonna stamp it off first. So I'm going to ink it up, and then I'm gonna stamp it on my scratch paper here. And then, oh, backwards. Then I'm going to line it up over top of my stamp, and it's not a perfect lineup, so don't, don't try and get it lined up perfectly. So now you can see that it shows the two shades of green using the same ink pad. Um, this is a really great technique when you want to um, do different shades of the same color. So we'll stamp that again. And then we're gonna stamp it over top of this one. And then one more time, so ink it up, stamp it off, and then stamp it over here. Okay, so we're done with the garden green. Now we can go ahead and attach these pieces to our card. So this one I here with the single branch is the inside of our card. So we can just lift this up here and attach that inside. And then our front, we're gonna do the same thing. So just a bit of adhesive here. And attach that centered on the front, right there. Okay. Next, we're going to take our ribbon. And let me just tell you how long this red ribbon is. So it's 12 inches of ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it underneath the front flap like this pull it around to the front and I'm simply just going to tie a knot here. Now if you want to adjust like I do, I just want to make sure that's somewhat even. And then we'll just tie one more knot. So that's going to be nice and secure. We'll come over let me just find my scissors. There they are. Let's trim those ends. I always like to trim mine on a bit of an angle. It makes it look a little more fancy. Okay, so there's our card so far. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I've got just a little scrap piece of basic white here. So as long as it's big enough to stamp your ornament that you've chosen. So remember, in the Decorated with Happiness stamp set, there's three different ornaments you could choose. So I've chosen to use this longer one. And I'm going to stamp it first in black. So I'm using the outline of the stamp, or not the outline, but the outline of the ornament. So this is, you'll see. So we're stamping that in black. And then I've chosen to use the fill-in stamp, as I call it. So this little swoosh right here got it mounted on my block and I'm using real red and I'm just going to line that up again it's not a perfect lineup it's kind of meant to look kind of watercolory whimsical I'm just going to stamp it like that now alternatively you could of course color those ornaments with your markers or your stamp and blends um, and make it a more precise but I like the look of this whimsical um, theme on the stamp set so the next thing we're going to do is cut that ornament out so as I mentioned, we have decorated pines dies that coordinate with the decorated with happiness stamp set. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. I just have mine on a magnetic sheet. It just helps keep everything kind of together. Um, so I'll pull out the die right here that coordinates. I've got my mini boss machine right here. Hopefully you can see that. And I've got plate number one and then number two, I'm just gonna place that down, 
match up the die. And I love these dies, how they've got a little hole at the top. And the way you can line that up is just by making sure the end of your string for your ornament is showing through there. And then you're gonna know that it's lined up perfectly up on the top piece there. Once you have it in place, I'm gonna use my post-it note trick. So I've always got little post-it notes at the ready here in my craft room and I'm just gonna stamp, oh, not stamp, I'm gonna place that down over the die and the stamped image so that it holds it in place. Sometimes, especially for some reason with these little ones, sometimes you gotta use two post-it notes, <laughs> just like that. But it's okay because they're reusable, so once they've used, you've used it once, you can certainly use it again. And I'm just trying to find my other plate number two. What did I do with it? I could have sworn I just had it sitting here. One, two. Oh, right there in front of my ink pad. <laughs> you know your craft space is uh, a, a mess when you can't find your cutting plate. Okay, so we're just gonna wheel this through. I'm trying not to make it shake the table too much. So I'll pull these off and we'll set them aside for the next time. And then we're gonna have this nicely cut out ornament. So using some Stampin' Dimensionals, I've got both the mini and the regular size here. So a mini one fits perfectly right behind this bow here and then we can put a larger one behind the ornament. Now if you don't have the minis, don't worry, you can just cut the Stampin' Dimensional regular size um, down to the size that you want. So I often do that too. I'm gonna take this and I want it to touch the branch so it looks like it's hanging off of the branch. I make it somewhat straight so it don't look like we're having a windstorm. There we go. So there's our ornament, so cute. Now you could do multiple ornaments if you chose as well. I like just the simplicity of just a single ornament hanging there. So the last thing we wanna do is to heat emboss our sentiment. So I have the embossing add-on kit here. This is available in the July to December mini catalog and I'm really hoping that it's gonna carry into our um, upcoming annual catalog that comes live in the spring. But this is, um, well that doesn't come with it, but this is the kit. So you get the tray, you get an embossing buddy, you get these awesome reverse tweezers and this paintbrush to dust off the tray. So what the first thing we're gonna do is use our emboss buddy and just oh, run it across our cardstock. Now that takes off any static or anything that's going to attract the embossing powder to things other than the the stamped image. So here's our Bows of Holly sentiment and Versamark ink. So this is just a clear sticky ink for those of you that don't aren't familiar with heat embossing and it's going to come up onto the circle as just clear. Okay. Then I'll grab my tray and my reverse tweezers. So I like to just hold my paper like that. I've got my embossing powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle that over top. And then I can take the excess off just like that. I'll set that aside for the moment. And then I'm gonna bring in my heat tool. So the Stampin' Up heat tool has two settings. So it's got, obviously it's got off and then it's got a lower and a higher. So when you're setting embossing powder, I find it best to use the second. So level number two, so bear with me through the noise. I'm just making sure it gets nice and warmed up. Now, so I don't burn my fingers, I'm holding it with my reverse tweezers here. We're just gonna wait for that white powder to melt. Oh, there we go. So you can see, hopefully you can see that it is melting together and becoming this nice, beautiful, crisp white sentiment. Okay, so while that's just cooling off a moment, I'll come back into this and show you. So this just unscrews right here, this lid. 
and we can take our embossing powder and we can very easily dump that back in by simply tapping on the tray like that and then to get all this other excess we're just going to use our paintbrush get any of those last little bits so this way we're not wasting any of our embossing powder we're getting it all back in there nice and tidy you're not ending up with embossing powder all over your desk and that's that that's how simple it is and that's how awesome that kit is so you can find that on my online store you can shop my online store from anywhere across Canada um, so now I'm just going to come over and dust this off take off some of that white sometimes if you have a microfiber cloth there we go you can just kind of give that a wipe make sure all that embossed buddy stuff comes off and then we're going to just attach that onto our card so I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals for that. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that over top of the ribbon. Now it can come over the top of our card, or the side of our card here because we have lots of room still for our envelope, right? So we're going to, it still opens, everything's good. There we are. There is our fun fold card for my Stamp of the Month group. For November 2022 and again our stamp of the month feature is decorated with happiness this is one of my favorite stamp sets um, for Christmas this year I love the whimsical version of tr very traditional imagery with the brand the boughs of pine and the ornaments but it's just a really fun um, take on it so I really like that stamp set if you'd like more information on my stamp of the month club and how you could join then head on over to createwithbirdsnest.ca or send me a message and I'm more than happy to help. Um, you'll find all of the information over there on my blog. Um, and registration is always due by the first Saturday of the month so that you get that month's kit. So the deadline for this one has already passed, but there will be a new release for December coming soon. So don't miss that one. Thank you so much for stopping in today and crafting along with me and watching my video. I hope that this has inspired you to create this very simple card using the Decorated with Happiness. Um, it's a little bit of a fun fold. Have a wonderful day and happy stamping!